Zemzilla, and today I will be doing a little bit of a tier list, if you will. This is going to be the first of probably what will be many Gaikaiju Daikasen versus tier lists. So, uh, this tier list is actually available for everyone on Tier List Maker or Tier Maker right here. And I have all the characters up to the current August update, and that includes my own character, of course. So there he is right there. Look at that sweet little boy. But um, how the tier list will work is that I will go over each character, what their moveset is, and why they are being ranked on this section of the tier list. So I will start off with the first batch of characters, and Nagaraya he's going in solid B tier. he's kind of the most basic out of all the monsters in the game he's got a pretty good spammable light his heavy's okay it has a few frames though a little too many for good combos with it and then both of his attacks his first special and second special are pretty good actually so he gets a solid B he doesn't have the most health so that kind of holds him back and that's probably his big issue and his specials don't do anything kind of special, I guess. They do decent damage, but they don't have a lot of knockback, or they don't cover a super wide area, so he's just kind of basic, and that's why he ends up getting in B tier. Now right here, uh, Bantu Raja. Now Bantu's actually, he is going to be going all the way up into S tier. Yeah, the first S tier character. Bantu's actually really good. His light spammable, it has good range on it. His heavy spams really well and it combos into his lights really nicely. And his special is okay, but what really puts him on top is his super insane uh, fast as boy um, sort of dash. It just allows him to move all over the arena however he feels like. And he can escape any attack. So if he's super low on health, he can just rush out of there and if the plane that drops uh, health, if you destroy it, you can just go over there, kill it, and then boom, you have uh, a little bit more health, and then you can run away again. So he is the best runner. So I guess Usain Bolt of the Daikasen character roster. And his special just essentially <laughs> makes him better than most of the other characters on the roster. And now that we've got the first S tier character, we also have the first F tier character. And that is going to be Proto Giga. Proto Giga is the fodder of fodder in this game. He's used um, for the Horde mode, and that just makes him easy, easy, easy fodder material. His heavy's okay. His beam can be spammed a lot, but doesn't do a lot of damage. And then his lights don't really combo well, and they're not spammable either. And his heavy and light don't combo into each other, so that's why he's in F tier, like the trash that he is. And next, uh, I will be doing Drectokus. Where, where is my little, there he is. He's the little, little four-legged boy. Now, he doesn't have uh, too interesting of a moveset, and his beam is nothing special. However, he has a little smaller hitbox, but he does feel like he has a little less health, so he, his, his, although his head's cut off, he's gonna be going right there into C tier. And next we got uh, King Heldra, who actually is going to apparently be getting a new model in, I think, the next update before the September update. Now, he is the biggest character of the entire roster, and that makes him a giant colossal target. His attacks don't spam really well, and they don't combo, and his beam just kind of goes everywhere, so he gets solid D tier. And now we're going to be getting into some of the licensed characters, and I'll just start off with King of the Monsters himself, Godzilla um, 2019. Now, 2019 will be right beside Nargaraya here. Uh, his beam doesn't do anything special. It has a little bit more damage than Nargaraya's does, and I would say that his light and heavies aren't as spammable as Nargaraya's are. However, I'd say his heavy's a little better than Nargaraya's, but his light is worse, so they kind of even each other out in that regard. And now we have uh, Monkey. Monkey gets, um, I can't really say because I have done playtesting where um, Giga does lose pretty often to Monkey. So Monkey would technically get into um, D tier, but I'm going to be doing something special actually. So I'm going to add a tier below. And let me, there you go. 
monkey. So yes, uh, the monkey tier goes to monkey over here. And now we have the Guardian of the Universe himself, Gamera. Gamera is, he's actually, he gets into C tier. He's a really good support, but his light's okay, his heavy's really bad, and then his special's okay, but he can fly. So similar to Bantu, Bantu can rush and dash around really quickly. Gamera can fly. He's one of two characters who, who are, well, he's one of two characters that can fly, but three that have a special kind of dash four also but that character you have to grind out a little bit for so there is that but Gamera he just his flying feels like a worse version of Bantu's dash so there's that and then his beam is worse than Nagaroya's or Godzilla so if you want to play like one of these two characters then you're gonna be playing you're just gonna have a worse overall experience with Gamera so there is that now next I'm gonna be doing the flyy boy, Crippla. Crippla is Crippla's good, but like I wanna put him in C, but I would have to He has a really good heavy because it's a dash. And there's another character who has a who has a dash slash flying attack as well, but they just do it better. And his beam's okay, but he has really terrible light, so he's gonna be put in D tier. However, he's not like abject trash but he's just I feel sorry because I love him he's so adorable he's cute and now the final character out of the or well there was another character he had a bit you know they there's Necronaria here Necronaria is gonna be firmly a tier because his blade gives him a good poke he has a good kind of lunging heavy and then both of his beams cover a wide area and they do a lot of damage. And playing against him, he always has a ton of health, so he is annoying to take care of. And he will be solidly put into A tier. Now next, the other character who was kind of special, but he was in the first wave technically, is Shin. And Shin gets put in D tier, because here's the thing. You think, like, how Shin is designed, you'd think that Rob from ETN designed him, because does he has very pitiful range with his lights and his heavies. He has three specials, but they do okay damage and then one of them only works if you're facing behind the person and that may only work in horde mode so if you're just fighting characters just for fun he is really bad and you should pick literally any other character and there's another godzilla you can pick so do not pick shin i guess so now on to the first august roster and I will start off with Requis. Now Requis is gonna be put into solid A tier. Now, the reason I say that is because he is one of the other characters who can fly. However, his fly, unlike Gamera's, does damage. And that also is unlike Vantu's because Vantu's does not do damage. However, if he puts you in a corner and he can sit there, his hitbox will just keep hitting you over and over again and that will hurt. So just watch out for that if you are going to be playing against him and the AI just decides it really wants to raffle stomp you really hard. But he has an okay light, however his heavy is his tail pincer that hits from behind. So essentially you're only working with um, just your light, your special, and then your fly. So just four buttons, unlike most characters you can utilize all their buttons, but because his fly is so good, especially if you want to just grind out um, gamma coins, uh, Requis is going to be put into solid A tier. However, there is an argument to put him in S, and I may actually even say that he kind of does technically belong into S tier. Now, next, uh, Zagotus. Zagotus is uh, another solid S tier. Um, his lights have a super long reach. His heavy is a really long reach they both do a lot of damage and then his beam comes out of his arms so literally when you're attacking you have the optimal area to be fighting any character he does not have any specials but he just has so much damage and they all combo really well with each other so he's a solid solid s tier however if requis or zagotus were to fight requis can keep him in the corner however zagotus can't put a lot of damage into him but Requis can fly out of that if need be and then use his uh lightning to spam out Zagotus so they essentially even each other out but they both have really good kits and again I'd say both these two actually do get up there now Giga Raptor's next Giga is well 
he has an okay heavy it kind of lunges but based on his wings and just how the animation works he it takes too many frames for it to pull out and then his lights are okay he does have a nice dash which again does well against some characters but i would say that there are better characters to play with and so gigaraptor is a solid c tier now next is gao naga and gao naga has so he has a really good heavy really good light so they're both better than uh um nagararia and godzilla but then his uh special is really bad because it's um a single shot laser which goes in multiple directions and just there's way too many angles to be working with with his beams so i'd say that if you want better beams you go for these two but if you want better uh just uh, normal attacks like heavies and lights then go with him so i'd have to put him in a solid b tier now on to my boy my adorable little gem of a character zogra now zogra um he will be going in a tier and not s tier um this may sound i may sound super biased anyway and i'm sorry for that but the reason i'm putting zogra in a tier is because um his crescent wave uh, has really good knockback on it so that's one thing and it hits a lot of targets so that's really good so it's really good in horde mode and against other characters his heavy combos really well into his light with his lunge and then his light is okay there are characters with a lot better light attack combos and chains so there's that but i'd say his kit overall is probably one of the betters so i would say um go with um with uh zogra if you want to not really necessarily a beginner character that nagararia does that really well but like if you want a character who does a little better than nagararia in terms of like his kit in most areas i'd say then go with zogra now on to the next update and i will start off with andre perez's draco azul now draco um i love andreas's character he looks really um ballin in this game uh, I would say that his lights don't combo really well. His heavies are good. It's like this little uh, bicycle kick, and then he has a laser. But then he's one of the other characters who has a dash, so he can he can move around really quickly. So I I want to put him in A as well. I could put him in B because his light the light is gonna be your least um, stamina consuming attack, and his don't combo really well. But his heavies are really good. So like he sits in this weird area where he wants to be in a he also wants to be in b but i'd say maybe my bias and i'll put him in a now next is uh, titanicus of titanicus creations um he's essentially okay so like look at these three they're the builds of these three similar sized tails heads however he has a horn and that horn is really good combo potential i've played against that ai and that ai loves to spam his lights and they do a ton of damage and then his beam is essentially like godzilla's so you're essentially working with a better light and then the same beam which puts him in a tier ironically enough and now gordrak gordrak um his heavy is kind of good but then his light's not good but then his beams are really good because one of his beams covers a lot of areas similar to zogra's secondary beam so he gets put in the solid b and now hadagar hadagar um Hadagar is really interesting because, again, like um, Gorjak, he doesn't really have a good light, but he's a really good heavy. And then he has two really interesting specials. He has one where he dashes and then he shivs someone, and then another one where he spams, he spams sword beams. So he has two really good special. He has really good um, like specials, but then his normal light is kind of bad. And what I've already said about normals is it could put him in A, could put him in B. But then it's not as like bad as where his whole kit's kind of hampered by only having like one effect like really effective move so i would say i could put him in a could put him in b and i would say because i put draco in a i would put adagar in a as well but i would say he's actually probably if i was to rank them as supports although you can't use every character as a support i wish that was one thing you could do he'd be a really good support um next usagi um character's okay um Kit's not the best, really, uh, personally. I've only played with her for a little bit, but, like, from what I play with, I'd say solid C. 
And now we have Bytha. Bytha is actually, Bytha's got a really good, he's got really good regular attacks and then he has an underwhelming um, special. So he's gonna be putting solid B. And yeah, that's it. That's the video. I'm just kidding. No, um, um, Ratoki. Ratoki, uh, I could put him in F because that's where trash belongs, but, um, he can't go to monkey tier and he's not completely bad like these guys and he's not super unviable. So I guess he technically could belong in C, but I really want to put him in F because again, um, well, Actually, no, maybe I, I should just put, I should make a trash tier too, but, um, yeah, no, trash tier. Trash tier it is. This, this is, this is what we do here on the, on the, uh, on the, on the Zimzilla show here, guys. Trash. Trash rat. And I spelled ray instead of a rat wow i try to be edgy and then that's what happens so you know there there you go that's that's my that's my dyke haiju dykus and tearless guys join me for the next one whenever that happens without further ado i'm zimzilla and i'll see you guys next time